Welcome to episode 33 of So You Want to Be a Star in the Music Business. We're going to have a conversation today about a somewhat controversial topic, age. Uh, you may or may not uh, notice as a performer that it gets more and more difficult as you get older to get someone to pay attention to you. Uh, the music industry is uh, particularly aware that young people, uh, meaning teenagers, and young 20s are the people who buy most of the music. And therefore, they also want performers who are that age, perhaps, right. it's a conversation, perhaps because they can manipulate a young person and send them out doing whatever they want, tell them how they should be managed, get them to sign contracts that are very basic, um, and pretty much spit them out 18 months later unless they've turned themselves into a monster hit like a, uh, Justin Bieber. Um, those uh, artists who are 30 plus, which is appropriate, this is episode 33, so here we are uh, talking uh, about the people that age, 30s and above, and what they can do if anything, the frustration they feel. Um, you were making comments about uh, how positive it is to be that age and older uh, for your art. Right. See, here, here's the controversy. Um, if, and there's a lot of catch-22s in this business. It seems like uh, the perfect situation would be whatever your, your talent is, whether you're a singer dancer, rapper, songwriter, whatever it is, that you've been doing it from the time you were able to walk and talk. And that's pretty much, you know, the, the kind of the, the childhood artist that continually develops. And by the time they're 18, they're already born, bred, and ready to ready for stardom. But you have a lot of people who either find out their talent later in life or they've gone a typical path of going to college, going to grad school, or whatever it might be, and the parents are pushing them more to get a job as opposed to pursue music. So these are people who still have it in their heart. They still find that there's something missing in their life and they still want to pursue their art. And my opinion, I feel like people in their late 20s, early 30s are finally at the point in life where they've experienced life and they have something um, a little more valid to share than the, the teeny bopper stars. And we should probably be more receptive to people that are in their 30s or like X Factor, your 30 and overs, who actually have life experiences to talk about. And because performing is so important, that too. you also mature. And as you mature uh, as a person, you also mature on a stage. And uh, all the lessons we've been teaching, it takes time to absorb all of these different categories and uh, all this information and make sense out of it so that you won't be ripped off in the music business. That uh, a record label that wants to grab you and experiment with you and keep all the money um, that they don't get the chance because you're a little bit older, you're a little bit wiser, you know how to get a lawyer uh, and more importantly you've learned or had experience performing mm -hmm. so now you have really something to offer your audience but you're too old. The, uh, it's not a joke but the uh, rule of thumb in the industry is if you haven't started your professional career by the age of 24, forget it. And I'm talking about your professional recording career. Or at least look 24. Right. Um, that doesn't mean you cannot have a music career. It means you probably can't get picked up by a record label. Uh, yes, there are exceptions. And uh, if you look at how many of them are out there, it's not a lot. Uh, we are here, though, to encourage you. Uh, we, we want wonderful artists, songwriters, singers. Uh, the problem is where do you go and how do you develop your career? Especially so, if you're just starting after the 24 mark. So we're here crusading for the 25 and olders, which is, you know, in the music industry, is, it's considered old, but it's really not old. And we, we think there's a, a mild shift. I mean, after all, you did see a 30 and over category on X Factor. Um, you're, you're beginning to see starting breakout stars like a Susan Boyle or other people who are becoming or starting to be famous or stars when they're actually older than teenage years or early 20s. And so the encouragement 
uh, is to say, think out of the box. If you say, okay, I'm going to go into the recording studio, uh, do a couple of songs and send them out to the record labels, uh, and hopefully they're going to think they're as wonderful as I do, uh, and they're going to want to sign me and make me a star, but you are 32 years old. We're here to tell you that won't work. They have... But then, now, they, why won't it work? Well, they, or what because to do? it's called ageism. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a prejudice in the business. Uh, you can jump up and down all you want. It exists. Uh, again, they're, they're looking at... Uh, and again, Susan Boyle, you're saying, well, what about her? What about all these older performers? Uh, what about uh, Jay-Z is still out there and Beyonce is still out there? Yeah, but look at what age they started at. And that is the point. They developed their career. And since the big stars who are older started when they were younger, that's the way the record labels and a lot of promoters want to play the game. They want you to learn the business under their ownership of you. Uh, and eventually, you get control of your own life. Uh, so for those of you who are extremely talented and are starting later, let's think about some new ways of putting yourself out there. Maybe you get together with the three other 35-year-old um, performers and you put on a concert in your local pub with all four of you, rather than thinking you have to do it alone. Maybe you don't spend all your money on... Um, an entire album worth of recordings. Maybe you just pick one or two, um, sell them on iTunes, and then hit the road uh, around the country and be happy with a mild success. Maybe you get a job or a career somewhere else that makes sure you don't need a lot of money in order to continue your career, and you persevere. You stick around for years and years and years, but at least you're not begging for money and you get to make the choices. Uh, uh, we don't have the answers, do we, Kevin? We don't. But also, try not to fall into the trap of making yourself fall into the, the early, well, sorry, the teenager, the early 20 in terms of the sound and the look of what they're doing. So make sure you stay relevant to your age, your, your material, and do, do solid music. Don't do what's out on the radio and do what you, you feel is your craft or what's in your heart. And... You know, we're going to continue to try to find ways as if we had the answers, it'd be a whole different conversation. But right. just, to, just to keep you aware, don't give up. Do your music. Um, of course, at this point, if you're in your 30s, you probably have, uh, at that point, a real family and real bills to pay. So this is just something. Uh, just, you know, keep it in your heart. Keep going. But there, there definitely is a way. Free yourself from being a 20-year-old. If you're not 20, you don't have to do it the same way. All right? So... Just wishing you the best. Uh, as we said, we uh, hope you find your own path. There are no two people in the music business who have gotten to stardom the same way. Right. So you don't have to do it. Just don't think of yourself as 20. Think of yourself as whatever age you are and, uh, and grow. Grow with your art form. Grow with your music. Do what you think you want to do. And hopefully it will bring you some success. Surround yourself with good people. Teamwork makes the dream work, just like with anybody, any artist. If you wrap the right team and you have the right people around you, you could definitely still make an impact later on in your life. Right. All right. On that note, I uh, hope this was a positive thing for most of you, and we look forward to seeing you uh, next time. That's right. right. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, check us out. I'm Kevin Curtin. Mitch Weiss. This is MW Entertainment Group which is uh, M-W-E-N-T group on Facebook and also on YouTube channel. And also the website. And Twitter. At underscore M-W-E-G. Till next time.